Hello everybody. Uh, you'll have to excuse the tank top. Been out riding my bike again today. Uh, beautiful day to go bike riding here in sunny southern, uh, sunny, sunny Florida. That's where I'm at. Today's been a good day. Uh, trade of silver and only silver today. Well, actually, I did trade take a MNQ trade uh, midday, but mostly silver overnight and this morning. And I did quite well, but I just wanted to talk about a few things. I got a few blown up accounts. And I was just pondering on my bike ride today why those accounts are blown up. And things that I have to change in myself to stop this. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you in a little bit these accounts, but... Yesterday... I was up uh, $1,250 in a, a particular account, and I wanted to reach, the. it was a 50, 50K account, and I wanted to reach uh, the daily max profit you can make in a combine without shooting yourself in the foot. Now, let me explain what that means. In a 50K account, your max profit that you can make in a day without shooting yourself in the foot is $1,500. Why is that? It's because your profit target level is three thousand. In other words, you need to reach three thousand dollars in profit before you can graduate to an XFA where you start making real money. Now, because of their consistency rule, they don't want you making more than half of your target profit in a day. So, in other words, the fastest you can pass a combine and meet their consistency rules is two days. If you go over fifteen hundred dollars on any given day, uh then that's going to it's going to bump up your profit target that you're going to need to reach instead. So if you go over 500, then you're going to need to uh, get 3,500 or something like that uh, max profit or uh, your profit target in order to pass a combine. So that's why why you do that. But I have never reached the max daily profit. And oh, actually, I did one time. And it was a complete fluke that I did on that day. And, and, and I did what I normally do. I turned around and lost it all. And like I did this $1,250, I, I turned around because I wanted to hit that $1,500. I turned around and give it all back. Not only did I give it all back, I hit the maximum loss limit. And that means that account got terminated or ineligible without doing a reset and starting all over. And why did I do that? I'll tell you why I did that. One, I set a, I set a, a, a target, a monetary target, rather than focusing on trading, being a good trader. I was looking at the dollar signs. And I know my focus needs to be on uh, do every trade and do it well, which I'm having an extremely hard time doing. So I ended up doing that, blowing an account. And then I got well, I got mad is why I stuck in it and kept going, kept trying. I ended up hitting a, a, a max loss limit and blowing that account altogether. Now, I've blown a few of them like that for the same reasons. Just getting angry because things didn't go my way. Huh? You hear that? My way? It's like I could tell the stock market what to do. You didn't go my way. I'm going to show you. I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. That's what I'm going to do. Very self-destructive in trading. To have that kind of attitude, and it's also a bit of a gambling mentality. <clears throat> Excuse me, a bit of a gambling mentality in there, you know, YOLO or whatever you want to call it, which I I I, I don't like about myself at all. So these things got has to be brought under. This is what I thought about. I went on a twenty mile bike ride today, and this is what I was thinking about. I had I had a great day trading today. And I had a, I've had several, I've had all green days for, uh, it's my fifth or sixth day in a row, it's all green on accounts that I'm really focused on. But on the other ones that I call them play accounts, I need to quit treating them like play accounts, don't I? I need to treat all my accounts as if I was managing my mom's money, trying to make her a profit and that that was her money. And I haven't been doing that with all these little play accounts. So these are things I have to change. And... And I have to change them pretty quick because I'm just never going to be a good trader as long as I have that kind of mentality, that kind of attitude, that kind of thing going on that's just, it's disgusts me. <laughs> I was so disgusted with myself yesterday, but I had no one to blame. Couldn't blame the market. Couldn't blame Top Step. 
Couldn't blame the guy on the other side. Couldn't blame anybody but myself because I was making bad trading decisions, knowing, uh, being impatient, knowing that I needed to wait for my cumulative delta to show me it's time to throw on a trade and how many contracts to put on and all that kind of stuff. And I was just, at any little blip of green, I was throwing on along. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a better long trader than I am a short trader, and that, that's something else that needs to change. I have a hard time shorting. I really, really do have a hard time shorting. I can trade long a whole lot easier than I can trade short, but we know the markets don't just move in one direction. So these are things i got to work on. And I guess it comes with time. And, and I heard one guy on Top Step TV one time. He was, uh, I think his name is Danny Trades. He, he said a couple of things that stuck with me. And, and one of them was uh, he was asked what he had, he had blown an account, $100,000, and uh, but he stuck with it. And, of course, he's recouped that, and he's done very well for himself. And he was asked, what what caused the change? What 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 changed? And he said he got tired of losing. I guess I haven't gotten tired of losing. I need to get tired of losing really bad. So I'll start doing the right thing and start looking at, rather than the dollars, looking at the trade itself and making the right decision and making the right trade, holding on to as long as I'm supposed to. i still got paper hands, though I'm. Though, I, you know, there's one way they say, I, I heard a, a toy trade say, you having the trouble holding trades longer? Well, there's only one way to fix that. Hold your trades longer, <laughs> is what she said. That's a, that's something else that stuck with me. Is a, If you're having trouble holding your trades longer, there's only one way to fix that. That's hold your trades longer. And I've been doing that. And uh, so I've, I've been, I've hit, you know, $1,000 PLs a couple days. And, and that's from holding trades longer. And, and, and so that's working. And it's experience. And I know it's experience. It's screen time. It's going through it all, going through all the emotion, and just experiencing it all, too, that, that shapes shapes the trader. So that's that's where I'm at. I've had, I've had uh, for the accounts that have mattered to me, I've had uh, five or six green days in a row. And... Uh, Two or three of them, I don't remember now. I think two of them today and, and the last video I put up was on trade on silver as well. Over a thousand or a thousand dollar days. Well today's yeah, gonna be gonna be right at about fifteen hundred between two accounts, thousand and one and five hundred and another. I'll show you in just a minute. But uh yeah, so I'm getting closer to my goals fire. I've got I've got account balances I've never seen before. So why don't we get into what I've done today? And these aren't big account balances. I don't want to psych you up for something that's, that's, that's not big. But they're big to me because I've, I've never been there. So let me get this video here started. All right. You're looking at one account. This is all silver trade. And all of this here, this $966 I made before the market even opened. I made... Uh, about 300 of it, three or 400 of it last night, and the rest of it this morning between uh, 7 and 7.30 this morning. Silver's been a great trade. Let me flip over to the chart here. Been great to trade. And you'll see this is the area right here. Actually, it was 7.38. Yeah, this is, this is where I jumped in on that right there. On silver this morning, and it's been been a been a great trade. And the thing I like about silver is there seems to be follow through, <laughs> a little bit better follow through than on the NQ here lately. Anyway, I know this is going to change at one time, but but it's been a good trade today. And another account, and I locked myself out. You'll see I got manual lockout on this one. And let me see, it's another account. Now here's another one, manual locked out on this one. This was also a silver trade, $338. I don't remember which trade that was, but notice this account here is a 50K account. I have a $3,000 uh, profit target, right? Well, I'm 51, uh, uh, I need 53,000. I'm at 51,477. I've never been there before. I have been trading on combine since January. I've been through, I don't know, 30 or 40 combines. I've got, I've got a lot of money tied up in combines and resets and all of that kind of stuff. 
maybe not, not that many combines, but with the resets and all, 30 or 40. Some huge number. Uh, I'm halfway there. I'm, what, 20 $23 short of being exactly halfway there. So, for me, that's <laughs> that's amazing for me. This 150k account. I still got uh, $6,700 I need to go. I got a long way to go in here, but if I could do $1,000 a day on that, that's six or seven days, right? And that's what I've done in this account for two for two days two days in a row I've done over between the two I've done about thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars I mean excuse me uh, twenty three or twenty four hundred dollars and, and just I went I went from one fifty to one fifty two three seventeen so that's what I've done in this account in, in two days actually it was a little bit lower now it was one forty nine something because I had I had a bad day or a back when so I've done quite well in this account let me see, it's another 50k count. This is, here's one I messed up in today. Bad. <laughs> so, we're not going to count that one. That was the play account I was messing with. Just, I still did that, that whole, let's we'll see if I get lucky thing. And I didn't get lucky. But I did manage to stop it before it went max daily, uh, loss or max loss limit, which is $400 away. So, I got to be careful with this one. This one here. I did hit the max daily loss limit, but I didn't. I still got eight hundred dollars or so left in that one, so you don't have to be careful with that one. This one here, a hundred dollars. This was my NQ MNQ trade today. It wasn't a whole lot. And this one here, let's see. There was one more. One more was that was nine, three. There it is. That's the one I missed. And this one here, I literally pulled back from 40, uh, 47, 200 over the past couple of days. Now I've got it almost back to the start position of 50,000, but that's a pretty good trade there. 561. That was a silver trade as well. So 561 in silver, 966 in silver, and 338 in silver. So that's 5678. So that's eighteen hundred today, and, and just silver trades. And these weren't copy traded accounts; these were traded individually at different times. Uh, so yeah, I got to have a shift in my mentality, don't I? I mean to tell you, I have got to quit this playing. I don't know, playing it, playing these extra accounts because I got a bunch of them. Look at that. And you see all the ones I've blown. I've even blown a practice account here. They made it ineligible. It was one, two, three, four counts that I have blown right there. And uh, I kind of quit just playing it like it's a video game. Or I was thinking about it back in the day when I used to drink and drug and gamble before uh, the Lord Jesus got hold of me. I would go to spend, I'd spend days at casinos on crap tables and stuff. And that's, and I got to thinking, you know, I've been, these accounts here, I've been treating just like it was a crap table, a throw over the dice. And I got to stop that. I got to treat this as a job. I got to treat this as, uh, there are rules. I got to treat this as probabilities. This YOLO stuff. And, and let's hope I get lucky. And lack of patience, all that's got to stop. God's going to help me get my emotions under control. Talk to him about my trading all the time. And he tells me the same thing, or, you know, he doesn't speak out loud, but he, but he uh, lets me know with a sense of some sort. It's like, I've shown you what to do. I'm not going to make you do it. You got to do it. And I just think that's where I'm at. It's just time to quit being bullheaded, quit being stubborn. And start trading right. So I'm hoping by the end of this week or sometime next week, uh, I will be in an XFA account. I'll keep y'all. I'll keep y'all posted though. That's for sure. And uh, if you're interested in using Top Step, unfortunately that $19 deal with Top X is over. Uh, and I'm gonna have to go change all my affiliate links on all my videos, uh, which I will do this evening. 
uh, back to the normal. But still, if you're interested in taking a look at them, how about using my affiliate link? You'll help support this channel. And even if you don't want to sign up with them, if you could do me one favor, click my affiliate link. That helps too. And uh, you'll see it below in the comment section and in the video description. And how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I hope you guys had a great day trading. And I hope you have a great day trading tomorrow. See you later.